Hey, what's going on everyone? Thank you for tuning in and checking out my latest video. Now today's video is going to be talking about the absolute barn burner between Josh Taylor versus Regis Prograde taking place over in the UK. This is a genuine 50-50 matchup between two highly skilled fighters. It's going to be an absolute war in my view. It's going to be a lot of technical stuff going on though as well, so you're going to get the best of both worlds. Cannot wait for this fight. So let's get right into this fight and talk about both of these fighters. So let's first start off with Regis Progray and what he brings to the table in this fight. So Progray is a fighter who fights out of the southpaw stance. He ultimately keeps his hands very low. So if you're going to implement that style, you better have good head movement. You better be able to slip some shots. Progray does both of those very well as a fighter. And when I look at him, he's a very heavy-handed fighter. He's aggressive. He's got a beautiful straight left hand. I think that's his best punch in my opinion. And because he has his hands down, and he's a smaller fighter. He comes up top with that shot. Um, and a lot of opponents don't see it coming. And ultimately, those that's a punch that finishes a lot of his opponents. It's vicious. So Regis Progre with his hand speed and his ability to counterpunch people. And he uses aggression, fight on the inside, and things like that. He's really, really a tough fighter to fight against. And he has very good conditioning as well from what we've seen in some of his recent performances. So he's a fighter that does it all. Does combination punches as well offensively i should clarify that he does it all um he's very very gifted and he's a fighter that you want to watch in the future if you're not a fan of his or you haven't seen him recently definitely i got to check out now moving on to josh taylor and what he brings to the table in this fight so i've been saying for a long time on this channel that josh taylor is criminally underrated in north america in particular when i look at josh taylor i see a fighter with excellent balance he's a fighter that fights um out of that high guard defensively and he's a very good counter puncher out of the high guard. He'll catch some shots on his guard, then he'll counter you with a, a hook. Also, sometimes he'll slip a jab and counter you that way. He does a lot of different things defensively. He'll dip underneath shots. He uses lateral movement. So Taylor does a lot of things very good. He has an excellent jab that is very good at controlling distance and setting up other punches. He's a combination puncher. He's a relentless, vicious body puncher. And ultimately, his straight left hand is also a very good weapon for him. And his uppercuts are very, very good weapons as well for Josh Taylor. So he gives you a lot of looks in the ring because he can switch stances. He ultimately will mix up head and body combinations. He gives you those feints. And he's always keeping you guessing and with that lateral movement. And he can fight on the inside as well. So he does a ton of stuff really well. And he reminds me style-wise a lot of Terrence Crawford, some of the little things he does with his boxing IQ. So he's an uh, unreal talent as well. So ultimately, guys, some keys for this matchup, in my view, looking at this fight. So for Regis Progre, I think he's going to have to figure out an answer to Josh Taylor's job defensively. I also think he's going to have to figure out what kind of style we're going to implement in this fight. Are we going to be fighting predominantly off our back foot like we did against uh, Terry Flanagan? I don't think that would be the best for him, in my view. Ultimately, I think where he's going to be more successful in this fight is where he's stepping forward. He's closing the distance. He's keeping Josh Taylor into corners on the ropes where Josh Taylor cannot use his lateral movement effectively and use his full versatility of his style. And Josh Taylor, when I'm looking for some keys for him in this fight, ultimately I want to see defensively how is he going to handle the pressure that Progray is going to bring in this fight. Um, a lot of times in the past you'll see Josh Taylor push off and land combinations. You'll see him utilize that high guard defensively and counter his opponents, confusing them and keeping them honest, making them think twice about coming in close on him. So those are some keys that I really want to see in this matchup. And ultimately, guys, I want to see who has more left in the tank coming down towards the end of this fight. Um, there's going to be some big shots landed by both, and ultimately it's going to be one of these fights where you're going to have to have your full concentration the whole time for both of these guys because both of them are such deadly um, fighters with such skills that they can catch somebody at any time and this fight could be over. That's what makes it such an intriguing matchup in my view. Now advantages in this fight for both of these guys. So ultimately some advantages that I see uh, Regis Progre having in this fight, I think he's a better power puncher of the two fighters. And I also believe that he has a better hand speed of the two fighters. So those are some advantages right off the bat for him. Now some advantages Josh Taylor has in this fight in my view, Josh Taylor has a better footwork of the two fighters, better foot speed as well. I think defensively, Josh Taylor is better as well. And I think that Josh Taylor has more versatility to his game as well than Regis Progray does, in my view. Taylor, I also believe, is better defensively. And I think that that's going to be an interesting component in this matchup. 
I also believe, guys, that Josh Taylor throws the straighter punches of the two fighters, which is key in this fight because Progre at times will throw some wide shots. And I think that Taylor can counter him down the middle, and that's going to be frustrating for Regis Progre. Now, ultimately, guys, who do I think is going to win this fight? In my view, guys, I have to pick Josh Taylor in this matchup, in my opinion, for a number of reasons. I think that he's got the height advantage in this fight that he can utilize. And I also think that his defense is skilled enough to keep Progre uh, away from him and do enough to win a points decision in this fight. I also think that Shane McGuigan is going to have a great game plan for Josh Taylor in this fight, like he showed for Luke Campbell versus Lomachenko. And Josh Taylor, in my view, with the variety of punches he has, the lateral movement, um, the ability to counter, the straight shots, and controlling with his jab are going to be things that Regis Progre has not seen. And when you look at the recent competition that Josh Taylor has fought, he has fought by far the better fighters than Regis Progre has so far in his career. And a lot of people talk about the Ivan Barchiniak fight, and Josh Taylor did take some shots in that fight. But that fight is something that he can draw off with because while Barchiniak is not nearly as skilled as Regis Progre, Josh Taylor did have to use a lot of defensive maneuvers in that fight where uh, Barchiniak was coming in on him constantly and pressuring him. So Josh Taylor is quite familiar with that aggression and that style of a big puncher in recent outcomes. So that's going to definitely help help him in this fight, in my view. So I'm going to go with all those things said, and I think that Josh Taylor wins a unanimous decision in this fight. Going to be one hell of a fight. Um, Pro is going to have his moments. Taylor's going to have his moments. Going to come right down the wire, in my view, and it's going to be a lot of action, I think, in the championship rounds, in my opinion. Josh Taylor, unanimous decision, guys, for me. Let me know what you guys think. I'm sure a lot of people are going to disagree with me, but uh, I outline my reasons why I think Josh Taylor is going to be successful in this fight. Let me know what you guys think on the video, and please tune in in the future. If you enjoyed, thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it.